Okay, I'm continuing my build stuff with paper clips. And here is the paper clip. And we're gonna use this paper clip and these to turn this on. So this is an LED light. Uh, they don't take a lot of current. And yes, I'm gonna build a battery using these and these. Okay, so the idea of a battery is that if I have two different types of metals with a conducting acid, a slight even a slight acid, then I can get an electric interact, I mean a chemical interaction between the two metals that will transfer charge. And that transfer of charge produces a voltage and a current, and I can use this to light up. I, it's not gonna be a great battery, okay, but it is a battery. So I've already kind of prepared some things beforehand. This is vinegar. Wait, I think. Yeah, this is vinegar. That's water. This is vinegar. This is this is vinegar. Ha. Oh yeah, that's vinegar. And this is salt water. Okay. So what you want to do first is to get some salt water. I, uh, you want to put as much salt in here as you can. You notice that there's a little bit in the bottom that's still uh, in there because I took some salt. I heated this up so I could stir in as much as I can to get it super saturated. So you, super saturated is when the salt no longer will dissolve. You want as much salt in there as possible. And then after that, you want to add just a splash of vinegar like that. It doesn't need to be a lot. Okay. The vinegar acts as an acid and that's an important part of the process. Now we're going to need some pennies. These are copper pennies. Uh, it doesn't matter what year they are. Newer pennies actually have zinc in the middle of them. And you can use just pennies by themselves to make a battery, but we're going to use a paper clip, which is made out of steel, different material. Now the final thing we need is some type of, of thing to soak up the water or the, the fluid. In this case, this is a, it's called a, I think they're called pig mats, and they're used to soak up wet spills in the lab. Uh, I cut these into little pieces so that I can stack these and put it in between there like that. And so this will have uh, fluid in between them and allow uh, charge to flow through them with because the, they're conducting with the salt. So let's just make one of these and measure the voltage and then we'll make more. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to dip it in here. I don't need it completely sopping wet, just damp. I'm going to take my paper clip. I'm going to put my piece on top of that and I'm going to put the penny. Okay, now let's go ahead and see what kind of voltage we can get. So I have my voltmeter here. I'm going to put it on 1.5, and it's reading something anyway. Uh, so let's try putting the negative on the paper clip, and then the positive on the penny. And I get 0.7 volts. That's actually pretty high. Okay, that's pretty good. You think about uh, a D cell battery at 1.5 volts. Now. That might seem really impressive, 1.7 uh, volts, but you're not going to get a lot of current out of that. These have a very, very high internal resistance. Uh, this requires about 2 volts to light up. Now, one thing you'll notice, check this out. If I switch these, if I put the positive on the paper clip, I get a negative. So this, this means that the, the copper is going to be positive, the steel is negative. A LED, this one I've already used, has two wires. The longer wire is positive. So they only work one way. If I hook it up backwards, it won't work. So I want this on the penny and that right here. And this is not going to work. That's not going to be enough to light this up. I, but if it were, I could just touch this and it would light up and it doesn't. So instead, I'm going to need to get more pennies here. So let's go ahead and build a stack right, of multiple pennies. So I'm going to take another paper clip, put it right on top of my penny. Now it has a, it's connected to that. I don't need the acid in between that. I do need to build another penny right here. So I'll take another piece and stack it right there with the penny. Uh, if you want, we can measure the voltage. I know you want to. I want to. And let's see what we get. Touch that. I can't touch it. 1.4. So I'm almost enough to do it, except that when I apply this, I'm going to draw a current that will reduce the voltage. So I'm actually going to, let's put two more. Let's put, I almost built my salt water. So let's put this one right there. And then another soaky thing. This is the same idea as a lemon battery. Um, another penny. Let's do one more. And let's try to light it up. And if it doesn't, then we'll add another one in there. 
and then one more that one didn't get all the way but one more penny on top and then in order to light this up just so I can make it easier to see I'm actually going to take some alligator clips uh, which I should have used a black one oh well okay so remember this one is positive so that's going to go on the penny and this one is negative so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to stick it on the bottom paper clip down here okay so now when I touch the other wire which I lost my wire with, here it is let's see if I touch this I'm going to hold this up here let's touch this up here look at that that lit up now it doesn't stay lit because again the current the current is too high for that voltage and I stack I tumbled everything down but it worked I call that a success even though I totally messed up everything okay let's rebuild it real quick okay penny penny now I don't again don't put another thing in between those because you'll you'll have a reverse voltage you don't want to do that Okay, so there's that all stacked together. Let's see if I can get the turn back on. Okay, well I got it before I counted the success. Lit up a light, lit up an LED using paper clips. There you go. Yes, you can try this at home and you should.